Hello for the last time. This is the final major titan, Rhea, and you select her, him, her, no it's not a him, it's a titan. Titans don't have genders. Maybe they do, but anyways. To select Rhea, you either use logs in a, the same 5x5 five five formation with obsidian in the middle, or leaves. But right now, the only way you can do it with leaves is if you climb a tree. Hopefully, adventure mode gives us those shears, and it'll let you place leaves where you want. But for now, this is how you do it with logs. And I've been accepted to the lineage of Rhea, and I can check demigods, titan, Rhea. Oops. I can check the ability. So, Rhea is probably one of the coolest titans, in my opinion. Even though everyone's like, oh, nature, nobody chooses the Earth, the Earth alliance people in many games. Here it's actually cool. And one of the things you do is with saplings. So what I didn't include in the help file, which you learned by watching this super exclusive video, is that right clicking on a sapling will actually change its type. So I can, you know, I, I want pine trees in my front yard. Okay, you click it, it grows. This is a passive ability. So it doesn't cost any power at all. You just get a bunch of saplings. So you can make really nice forests like this. So I can just plop down, oh, I want some birch here. And I just plop down a bunch of these, and then I click, 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 and click it again. And if, see, in some places, if there's something uh, obscuring the tree's path, it won't grow. Otherwise, it pops up. So there you can do it here. Oops. Here should be okay. Yep. And that's the passive ability. So this also works for crops. Let me give myself. And you can see this also works well for crops. Ta da! So, farming, making trees, this is all Rhea's kind of stuff. And one of the coolest, coolest skills that you can do is lay out like a minefield. Um, what I mean is by doing plant. So I type slash plant. Eh, I need power. Okay. Let's see. This is the Prometheus area, so I can't do this, so I'm going to cheat a little and give myself the deity. And all admins have this command, I added it. There we go. So now, being lazy again, use diamond, yay. I don't need Prometheus anymore, so I can remove it. Just like that. And what I'm going to do with this is put down a whole bunch of trees and these are going to explode and you'll notice that if I try and do it on sand, on water, stuff that a tree can't grow on, nothing happens. But if I put it on dirt, the tree pops up. And what the tree does is if you back away to a safe distance, and this is very important, you don't want to be next to it when this happens, type slash detonate and it goes off. And I like to call this the sea tree. Get it? It's a pun. <laughs> and a uh, smart thing to do would be to surround your base with detonating trees. Whoops. Sometimes if there's another tree in the way, it won't get placed. But let's say you can lay out more than one of these at once. So I say I want another one here. And I want another one over here. And let's say, okay, I see an enemy coming through. I see one of my arch nemesis rival bad guys walking through the foliage. And he's coming too close, and I say, detonate! Boom! There they go. And now you got a big chunk of missing ground over here. So this is obviously very destructive. If you're doing like a really nice, pretty creative server, you probably don't want to be putting exploding trees all over the place. But it does exist. And if you do need to kill people, it is an excellent tool for that. And... Rhea's ultimate isn't as kill as instant kill your enemies as the other ones, but it is pretty cool. And how you use it is terraform. So I type slash terraform. I'm not gonna do it right here because that would be boring. And what it does is you point at a block, and then you type slash terraform, and every every highest block or at every highest block in that chunk that that block belongs to, it'll grow like a new layer of stone and dirt and finally trees. So. It looks really cool actually when you do it on a place with kind of varied uh, terrain. So I'll just do it on this little pit right here. So I'll back up and pop up a tree so you can see what's going on. Yay. 
and I'll just sit up here. And actually, if you do terraform onto uh, a chunk where players are standing, they get pushed off of it. So it's also kind of good for distracting people. But there it goes. So you kind of could use it as combat, but mostly it's just to screw with their base. And get a bunch of trees. This doesn't generate any ores, so the goal of it is kind of to plunk it down on top of the enemy, the enemy's like base, right? So you make little towns. If you're doing like a faction server, you have like a god faction and, uh, and the titan faction, and then the titans run in once in a while to do PvP, and they go kill people, and then they go screw with the buildings by putting trees and dirt and stone on top, and it takes forever to clear out. And that's basically Rias. So once again, if you're running like a nice, creative, pretty, build little sanctuaries and churches and I don't know what else you would build, like towers, this probably isn't something that you'd want to have running around. And while I don't plan on nerfing Rhea, I'm probably going to put out a permissions-based file so only trusted users can use Terraform. In the meantime, you can just go for it. Like... Until I release this patch, anybody with Rhea can just go mess with buildings however they want. But if you really, if you really want a cool-looking terraform, I wouldn't do it over water. I would blow stuff up with the uh, plant and detonate first, and then finish the job by terraforming over it. And you can see here, if I'm trying, if I'm a player inside of an area being terraformed, if I don't get out of the way, I'm gonna get suffocated. And if you're really unlucky, a tree spawns over you, you die. But that's Rhea.